So for him to come back here, he literally had tears in his eyes, you know, tears of joy. I know that PJ considers this area home. Mm -hmm. From dad's perspective, what's it been like for him to get this opportunity to come back home? Oh man, it's, it's been full circle for us. It's been a blessing. I mean, wonderful people in the, in the Dallas, Frisco, DFW area. I mean, from playing in Frisco growing up to AAU, you know, our team Celtics and, and traveling all the way around the Metroplex and playing. So for him to come back here, he literally had tears in his eyes, you know, tears of joy to come back home. We've always talked about, you know, how, how cool will it be for you to play in the Mavs, you know, play for the Mavs. So uh, just for me to orchestrate that as his agent and then bring him back home and and he something like his, I, I told you, I felt like it's more like a prodigal son, you know, coming home, you know, per se. So we're very excited, very excited. Hopefully this is his last stop. So he's excited. When you think about getting an opportunity to play with a guy like Luka Doncic, too, I mean, he's the kind of guy who's going to help elevate your son. You've coached right. before. You, right. you know what that's like. Right. How much does that mean to you getting to watch his further development here with the Mavericks? Oh, man, you only, you know, hopefully you'll get to play with some game changers in your life, you know, and Luca is not only an MVP for the team or the conference, but he's an MVP for the league candidate, you know, so he's a game changer. I mean, we haven't seen anything close to him probably since Magic, you know, from that standpoint. So for PJ to have the opportunity, we're on the same age. I think Luca might be a year younger than him to kind of see their careers and now kind of cross and kind of continue going forward. I'm excited for both of them, you know, more so for PJ because now he's got an all-world player playing with him, you know, uh, that can help in his vision, his court sense, his savviness to get to where he want to get with the ball. I mean, it's amazing. And they're about the same size, which is unbelievable. Yeah. When you think about, um, you know, how he grew up here and then getting a chance to see him in that Maverick uniform in that first game, yeah. what was it like sitting in your seat? Man, it was special. I mean, and he'll tell you, we used to come down here with one of my best friends, uh, Charles Glendenny. He used to drive, he had season tickets, so he would drive us down here and he would see the, 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 the maniacs, the guys, the kind of heavy guys and all that stuff. And PJ as a kid was so just blown away by it. He's like, dad, look at these guys, you know. So for him to come down and we got to be in a tunnel and they chatting his name and doing a little song for him. And so it was just, it was real just to see him actually playing, you know, for the Mavs and see the maniacs still there. Uh, just the atmosphere, and then Charles actually came and got to be at his first game. So it was really full circle for us for, to see that. We're very excited as a family, yeah. And then the other thing is, listen, Daniel and PJ coming at the same time. Mm -hmm. You heard that reception. Right. What, what went through your mind, you know, when they gave him that great ovation? Man, I was standing up, and I was just, you know, lucky and, and thankful that, the, that the, the people here in Dallas really understood what they were getting with Daniel and, and PJ. And, PJ has been playing against Daniel for years since AAU, you know, from Arkansas and Kentucky. They've been going at each other, so, uh, so they know each other. So for them to come in at the same time, have a, a connection, know each other, been playing against each other since they were in AAU, it was pretty good. And then we felt good that Dallas actually stood up and, and, and they were thankful and, and wanted him to be here. You know, you always want to be in a situation where you want it. And that was amazing to see, that, you know, everybody stand up and wanted both of those players here. That was awesome. And I know it's just new for you to kind of be, you know, inside the organization with your son. What's the reception been like, and what have you learned about the organization that bodes well for your son's future? Oh, no, it's been very great. Um, Nico and I go way back to, you know, back when PJ was in high school. I mean, Nico, you know, with Nike, and, and we were with a Nike program with Team Penny and EYBL, so we definitely had a connection with Nico for years. So for us to come back, I felt comfortable with him. Um, he knew his college coach uh, with Calipari and Kenny Payne. Um, so we had a, a familiarity with, with Nico already. Um, and then coming back to, back to Dallas, we already knew the Mavs from a standpoint. Uh, haven't met Cuban yet, but PJ said he was, he was a great guy and he hugged him a couple of times you know, as an owner. Like he's very excited about the team and stuff like that. And PJ said all the players you know, are, are happy and excited and stuff. So just to have that kind of breath of fresh air, you know, we're pretty excited. Especially, you know, they're trying to win. They're trying to get to that next step in the playoffs. So You, you let me where it's going to go. Yeah. How good can this thing be? I mean... You have a sense. Yeah. When, when the two players that they added, with, with Daniel, you know, being a rim runner, you know, coming off the bench, bringing energy, blocking shots, dunking, and being that presence rebound and offensive rebound. And I mean, that's, I don't know if they had anybody with that kind of energy in a while, you know. Um, and then you got PJ that can defend the one through the five. Uh, and he can shoot, he can dribble, he can pass, kind of that all around player, that glue guy that kind of fit in. So, we're excited. I mean, and then you got two all stars, you know, out there. And so they got to double them. And then somebody's going to be open. Now you got a, a nice bench with Hardy and stuff like that. So 
it's, it's amazing how far they can go. I mean, it's, it's kind of scary, you know, so I'm just kind of sitting back, putting the seatbelt on and, and, and waiting on the ride, you know, to see where this thing goes.